Good morning. Welcome again to Morning Devotions, and thank you again for our time together. Don't forget, Revival Nights are starting again tomorrow night at East Campus. We're going to continue to work on the anointing. We're going to talk about the purpose and the expressions of the anointing and different anointings that were on Jesus' life. We're going to have a great time together. Right now, I want us to come back to the book of Numbers, chapter 14, beginning with verse 1. That night, all the people of the community raised their voices and wept aloud. All the Israelites grumbled against Moses and Aaron, and the whole assembly said to them, If only we had died in Egypt or in the desert. Why is the Lord bringing us to this land only to let us fall by the sword? Our wives and children will be taken as plunders. Wouldn't it be better for us to go back to Egypt? And they said to each other, We should choose a leader and go back to Egypt. We should choose a leader and go back to Egypt. Let me teach you just a little bit about spiritual leadership today. You don't choose your leaders. God chooses the leaders. God chooses someone and gives them as a gift, Ephesians 5, to a local church. God puts you in that local church. God chooses the leaders. Now, the problem is sometimes we don't like what's going on around us or the vision seems so big and our faith seems so small or whatever, and we begin to get attitudes and we begin to grumble. And the next thing you know, people begin to say, we should choose our own leader and go in a different direction. You ever wonder why there's so many churches, little churches? Because little churches are splits off other little churches. Little people who have little faith, who don't want to follow the leader that God put in their life, and they split the church and choose a leader to lead them in the direction that they want. And all these little mushroom churches then just die. Now, now I want to challenge you today. Deal with your attitudes. If there are things and the vision looks so big, don't, don't stumble with it. Just get down before the Lord and pray. And, and don't ever get together with people and say, We're, we don't like our pastor. We're going to choose another pastor and go in a different direction. When you self-choose your leaders, you get what you choose. And you're never going to see the destiny that God has for you. If you will be willing to humble yourself and follow the leaders that God puts in your local church and that God has chosen for you, God will lead that whole church into its promised land and its destiny. That's not saying that spiritual leaders are perfect. We screw up and make a gazillion mistakes. But please remember, God's chosen leaders still have God's hand on their life.